I use another video. I'm going to be turning this this banded analog black and white TV into a digital TV with channels. As you can see here, still black and white, still CRT. What the, with the remote control, so you can turn the channels over and get radio channels as well. I've been having a look at these um, Sharp 10P radio cassettes, vintage radio cassettes, manufactured in uh, 1980 to 81. This is a of H stereo um, with a CRT black and white TV. Um, there's quite a few on eBay, but um, they all seem to be mocky around here, around the um, cassette keyboards, buttons. This is another one I've had interest in, but the fascia. Um, I managed to find this one here online. And um, I managed to get it for 30 quid. And as you can see, it's arrived and it's a fairly tidy unit. Let me show you here. See, the buttons are nice and clean. And uh, obviously, the TV's not going to work because it's analog and they shut down the cassette. Sounds slow. I have to look at that more lightly to the belts. The other side, and it does play, but it doesn't so, quite sound right. So, we'll have to have a look at replacing the belts and see what else is going on inside. Radio works fine. Yeah, the radio seems to be working fine as described, as the seller put in the description to show you the back of it. A uh, bit dusty on the back here, as they usually are. Okay, so what I'm going to do, strip the unit down, leave it clean. And you can see the CRT monitor screen in the back there. And there's a lot of dust inside here also. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to pull the unit apart. And... Uh, Clean wherever needs cleaning and repair whatever needs repairing. You can see me just removing the uh, CRT screen and the PCB that comes with it. That's the power supply coming out there. That's the tuner. Just connects to the main board. And this is the cassette and radio PCB. Get it out of the way and uh, remove the speaker, and that's the both covers and uh, clear. So, let me show you here quite a bit of dust around this. So, what I'm going to do give them a bit of clean that's the front and back covers, just stick them in this bucket of soap and then let them soak for a bit or give them a wash. Bit of dirt on them. I imagine they've been sitting somewhere for ages. And then just get the soap off it, just uh, rinse the soap off and leave, the, leave it to dry. The covers, front and back covers. And let me just show you here. See, it's nice and dry now. Front and back, nice and clean as well, inside and out. Um, there's a few scuffs. As you can see around the side here, a um, few signs of wear and tear. So I'm going to be able to look at that. Um, I'm just going to um, spray the front section. I haven't quite got this color. I've got a silver that's quite close, but I haven't got this um, gray color. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just masking it off, just the front section, and I'm just going to give it a little paint. As you can see here. I've removed the decals so that I can spray. You can see here, just give it another final coat of spray. And then I'm just going to have to leave that to dry. Come back to it tomorrow or something. Okay, um, the cassette, uh, the belts, there's two belts on it, very difficult to get off. You can see me just removing the main drive belt. And I've refitted it. You can see the two 
old belts on the right hand side there that's the new belts fitted you can just see the old belts on the desk and this is the meter you see turn the play wheel and the meter turns which is working now it wasn't before because the belt was stretched so now that I've done that I'm just going to give these um, the buttons are clean on the for the um, cassette the chrome buttons just give them a wipe down with some uh, wet wipes you can see here so I'm pretty satisfied with that going back to the um, front cover let me just remove this sticker masking tape would have fallen here to cover this section and then I'm just going to continue to remove the rest of the masking tape where I masked off certain parts which I didn't want um, sprayed with paint let's get the rest of this masking tape off lively and then I'll just bin that Okay, so just a matter of uh, gluing the decals back on. There's a sharp decal here or badge. Just put a bit of uh, contact adhesive on there. And this was the meter for the tuner. I also removed that. It's going to pop them back in. That's the sharp decal or badge back in there. And then this one's the trim for the. Uh, dial indicator just glued that back in also and then I did remove the radio indicator screen which I'm just popping back in here okay so now um, I've repaired the belts on the cassette so replace them so I'll just pop the whole module back in it's the radio and cassette module with the main PCB and this is the tuning unit, just popping that back in, the tuning unit for the TV. Just pop that back inside, just two screws holding it in place. And then, as you can see here, it's just a matter of popping the CRT black and white screen back in. You see there, just got rid of all the dust off it and the PCB. So it's just a case of putting that back in also and just connecting all the um, connections, plugs which are removed, just plugging them all back in into the TV's PCB. And I'm just going to pop the power supply back in also. Okay, so um, everything's nice and um, reassembled here, nice and clean. So let me just show you here, at this stage now, what I've got to do now is integrate this set-up box, EMtronics, with this um, SCART to RF. And I'm going to be using this uh, SCART lead and the set-up box is remote control. So what I'm going to do is integrate that into the TV so that um, you can watch TV without an external box so first thing I'm going to do is strip this um, strip this box down set up box down and I've got the core removed there and you see there's not much inside it's a tiny little PCB let me just undo the rest of it here and just separate the PCB from its uh, housing let's get these screws out okay so that's the PCB separated that's the main board or only board in the digibox so what I've got to do is integrate that with the TV with the black and white TV and I'm going to need this infrared here I'm going to have to cut this off and put it on an extension so it comes out the front like you can see there that's the infrared for the remote control 
so here you can see me of course it's off I'm just gonna solder three wires a black white and a red to this end to the PCB and uh, I've also got the sensor let me just put a bit of um, hot glue on here so it doesn't uh, come off that's where I've soldered it to the board and this is the sensor let me just put a bit of hot glue around that as well this is the actual sensor for the infrared for the remote control I've just extended it and you'll see why later so what I'm going to do is just pop a couple of legs on the back of the main PCB with my hot glue gun you see I'm just popping these legs on here because I've got to mount it to the back of the PCB for the radio and the cassette main board just put some blobs of hot glue on here and then attach the PCB for the digital TV like I said I want this inside the unit okay I've mounted that so this is the SCAR to RF which I'm connecting to the aerial socket and then here you can see me just put the scarf leads connecting the scarf leads up and I'll just put a cable tie around this just hold it in place cut that off like so and then all I've got to do now is just connecting the aerial there and I'm going to connect the power to the units power let me just plug it in I've got it all connected up see what comes up see so have a look here you can see the board on the back there so the lights come on and they will come on an inside but I've got a remote so I won't need that you see the TV there I've got a nice display so let's plug that out and fit the uh, back cover back on now that I've finished okay you can see me just refitting the back cover I'm gonna do that lively just to save time on the video it's gone on for 12 minutes already okay you can see me just refitting the back cover putting all the screws in all the five screws uh, six screws in seven okay turn it around and here I've made a little hole in this trim at the front and I'm just gonna hot glue the sensor for the infrared which I soldered earlier it's gonna hold that until it uh, dries till the glue goes dries let me just get close up there that's the sensor and I've made a small hole in this trim for the remote control so it's just a case of popping that back in you can't see the hole but I have made a hole in the front of that just pop that back in okay so this is the complete unit here let's give you a look around it see I've sprayed the front remember before it was uh, scratched and it was light grey dark grey sorry I've got light grey paint on it and just show you there nice and clean now let me just show you the back you see here I've got the back cover clean also nice and shiny and I've plugged an external aerial there or teletop aerial to show you the back of there nice and clean also okay so just gonna give it a test first thing I'm gonna try the tape set That seems to be working fine. Remember, I replaced the belts as it was playing slow before. I replaced the drive belts and done a bit of maintenance with grease and what's not. Let me just try the radio. Sound. The radio's working fine. Created by the UK Financial Conduct Authority. Got to get these framed puppy face. See the radio dial indicator. That's working fine also. So let me just show you the TV. Flick it over like so. And you can hear the TV already. Like I said, I've integrated the 
set up box inside and connect it to the TV's power supply. You see there? And you can turn this knob also to tune it only to the Digibox channel. I'll show you again. We're still tune this. We've got to lock it onto the Digibox channel. I reckon it's going to be about 10,000 a year. I really can't afford that. In five years time, because it now works off remotes. I'm going to show you here. The Turn the TV again. over. Remember, I made a hole for the infrared sensor at the front there. And you can see the different channels being selected here. Representatives of more than 20 and it seems to be playing fine. Began a summit in London. There's a few lines scrolling up and down, but that's the uh, camera. Highlighted Alveston. See there, and you've also got radio, digital radio. Also, I'm using this for the TV only. You can scan the QR code on screen now, or get in touch by email Midlands Today at bbc.co.uk. Okay, so I'm pretty We're satisfied with that. Let me just show you here. We've got the um, April showers. I think it's EPG this week. program Japan live. Will be along shortly with the you can see there. Also still to come. Also, from Aston Villa's manager to his players to with that, thanks for watching once again. Please subscribe. The home leg of their Champions League quarter final against PSG.